go. Uh, go ahead and introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Frank Gibbs. I'm the resource soil scientist for Northwest Ohio with USDA NRCS. And uh, tonight we have a field day here. We're talking about systems of cover crops, conservation tillage, and watching our traffic patterns to improve our soil. Uh, I'm standing down here in the soil pit, and uh, this soil here is a, is a lake bed soil, a Del Rey soil that has a uh, silty subsoil above a clay parent material. And uh, you can see it's a beautiful soil. It's been managed so that we are maximizing the amount of organic material for the night crawlers to feed on. And these roots are following these night crawler holes down. And you can see I've circled where some of these roots are popping out way down here. Some of them are five and a half feet down into the soil. And the soil, uh, as you get down below about three and a half, we're picking up these heavy clays that were laid down by the predecessor to Lake Erie. And uh, you know, the roots would be turning out above that, but they're not. They're following the night crawler holes down because the night crawlers are improving the structure of the soil and the penetration, and those holes are the best place you could have a uh, root to grow to get its nutrients. Over here, we've got a machine that uh, I, uh, I have. It's uh, a blower off a Jimmy Diesel engine and uh, I use it to pressurize the drainage tile to show how conservation tillage in these systems will improve the movement of water down to our drainage tile and be able to uh, fix the soil up so that it's in real good shape. We've got good air water movement. And so uh, we'll later on start this up and run the blower and pressurize the tile and we'll blow smoke up all these thousands of macropores that are in this healthy, beautiful soil we've got here at the Oberlin Farm. Thank you, Frank, and this is Dave Robison with PlantCoverCrops.com.